is an island off of Greece. And uh, National Geographic has documented this, not just once, but several times, where somebody um, of the long living that are uh, indigenous to Akaria, Greece, they'll come over here to the United States with their children. And then after 50 years, their kids will wind up with a terminal illness. Their kids then at the age of 55 will return to Ikaria to die. And they live for 50 more years in perfect health. <laughs> So that's oh, wow. what we're talking so, about. So the body, their body reverse 55 years of damage then. Oh, wow. That's what we're talking about. That's yeah. what we're talking about. And that, that will save us because uh, one, one example I like, there's two examples that are really great examples. Um, in the late 1950s, um, and excuse me, but this is medical talk, um, the sure. average viable spermatozoa uh, during lovemaking from an average American male was about 400 million living and healthy spermatozoa. We're less than half of that today in the United States on average. Um, if you go back to December 7th of 1941, when the Japanese uh, bombed Pearl Harbor, we had a massive number of American males volunteer for the military. 70%, 70% were accepted into the military with standard physical examinations that are still done today. Today, hmm. only 25% of American males are accepted into the military with those same, those same physical standards. We're that sick, uh, even at, that, at the age of 18 to 19 years of age. This is because of the lack of paying attention to the soil and to the water where all this uh, minerals have been lost. We now have um, a, a good example is uh, in 1948, we had 152 milligrams of iron in an average bowl of spinach collected from anywhere in the country. Today, it's less than two milligrams of iron in that same bowl of spinach. Same thing goes with all the metals, calcium, magnesium, zinc, copper, you name it. The soil has become so exhausted. One of the reasons is, is because after uh, World War Two was over, the Germans had a huge amount of gunpowder left over. This just happened in Lebanon, if you, if you think about it. Gunpowder is very explosive, but it has a lot of uh, nitrate in it. And so we went over there, we got all this free gunpowder, we decided, well, what are we going to do with it? We decided, well, let's use it for fertilizer. It's only mm -hmm. got four elements in it. We have 80 in the soil. So every time that you harvest a crop, you're removing 80 of these vital minerals and you're only putting back in four. And that's why we're so darn sick. The long living right. don't do that. The long <laughs> living put all 80 of the minerals back into their soil and they get it from the water supply and they stay super healthy because these uh, minerals start vibrating really heavily like razor blades against things that aren't supposed to be there. And they don't hurt the human being because we know how to handle them. And that's how life um, is set up here on the planet.